Chowder, Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Magicalism. We are here with Luna Crowley, and, well, in the last, we discovered what our wolf cufflinks could do, and now we are a werewolf. Ah, uh, well, for a little while. The transformation helped us out a fair amount by increasing how fast we could recover. Uh, we had quite a bad wound from yet another Yule Cat. This time, though, we have recovered incredibly quickly. Our wounds have stitched themselves back together, and uh, Luna is still in this werewolf form, at least for a little while longer. The knight is young, and I intend to use that knight. Unfortunately, we are going to have to leave the SWAT armor behind, which is rather unfortunate. I would love to have the protection of it, and we are also leaving a few things in here as well. There's books, there's mana crystals. So yeah, it's unfortunate that that has to stay back here. I want to make sure we at least have, yes, our wand of fireballs, which is good, and we are carrying some of the other bits and pieces. We do have a limit to how much we can carry, however, so we're going to have to be a little bit wary with that. I think it might be worth us dropping off a few other things here with the intention of us coming back afterwards, so I'm going to go get a drop-in. Right, so there's quite a few books that we're going to be dropping off there. And where are we going? Well, we're going to be heading north up towards the Magic Academy that's here. So I have some very, very high hopes for this place. I really, really do. Right now we are using clairvoyance, and that's how we can kind of see around us at this stage. But we're going to be making our way back outside into the night. And I don't believe we have our, our light active at this stage. Oh, the Everburn Torch, we do. So if we go ahead and activate that... Oh no, we didn't. Yeah, we can see even further with that. Okay, well, we actually don't want to have that turned on right now. If we can avoid it. And so, I think we'll just go with the sight that we have for now. Once we start to get a little bit closer, I will end up casting uh, Dark Sight. Because we want to use that to our advantage. Oh boy, and a Night Stalker out of nowhere. But, we are quick, we are fast, in our Lupine form. We're doing quite good. And we're actually getting unarmed skill because we're biting, I think. That must be it. Yeah, I'm assuming that. Or we're doing other strikes as well. But we're ducking. We're slashing. Yeah. The cavalry saber we can still use with our uh, lupine paws. Oh, and there is actually a blood essence on you, so we'll be sure to take that. And maybe chew on some of that caffeinated chewing gum. Delish. There we go. Yet again, your wounds are closing up. It just like fires. And then it just starts to seal itself back together again. I'm wondering if that is an effect of Apex Predator or something else. I didn't take into account that the Grey Fur is also going to give us protection as well. Marginal protection. Protection from cold too at the same time. I mean, yeah. Regardless of what could be doing it, I, I, I am I'm happy. <laughs> We are strong, and we are getting close to the town, so I think at this point it would make sense for us to go ahead, drop this for a moment, and look at casting Dark Sight. Oh, that fail chance is high. Eventually we will get it though. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, no, that certainly worked. Right, well, I apologize for the green. Oh, and we can actually fit our Cavalry Saber into our pack as well. I think we'll keep it out just for now. But getting closer, we're going to be able to use our Clairvoyance to see around us and also Dark Sight to try and maneuver around the dead. Okay, like that Devourer, who I think might have been able to smell us there, quite possibly. We'll just keep him moving around you for the time being. That Shocker, same deal there. We don't want to come within your radius. Ah. Clairvoyance has dropped off, but that's okay. For 17 whole minutes, we've got Dark Sight. Okay, so I think if we kind of carry up this way, past the gun store, we'll hit the Magic Academy. You know, behind the gun store. Oh, Incandescent Husker. Yeah, let's give you just a wide, wide berth there. That Snot Gobbler's nice and close. Quite a few dead that are close here. Okay, I guess we're going to go around to the left-hand side. We can probably zoom in a little bit here. Hi, Batwing Zombie. You got awful close there. 
but we can see a lot better than the rest of you right now. Okay, the smashed glass should draw a few of them down that way. We'll just kind of try and pick our moment here to try and dive between these kids. Oh, headless horror. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's actually working out quite well. Just dodging and weaving between the dead. Dark side, I didn't think you would be this helpful. You need to die quickly. There we go. They definitely would have heard something there. We're just a stunner and then just like chop her head off with, yep, 69 damage. Okay, up we go, up we go. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all are starting to get a little bit too close for my liking. We're going to start running now, which means that we're probably going to make a little bit more noise, but that's fine. We are at the Magic Academy. For better or for worse, we're at the Magic Academy. Okay, so as we start to get closer, I would love to class clairvoyance here. Um, but I'm thinking, worst case scenario, it's going to be the plastic golems that are here. Ah, okay. Let's go ahead and peek inside. Yup, and they can see. They can see quite well. Oh, and you're here fast. Okay. Well, we start slashing at the golems. Okay. One has collapsed. We continue to slash, mutilating them. Let's get that door closed. We're going to have to deal with more of them in here. The... Cavalry Saber just absolutely annihilates them. If I can hear knocking like that, okay. We might have to try and deal with some of them. We don't want them to be beating on this building. This is locked as well. Okay. All right, so we've been in a magic academy before and we know how good that can be. From the west we hear crunch. Mm, not great. We could go with clairvoyance now. That's definitely on our level, that one. Heard wump. Alright, let's go see what the hell's going on. Hi there. Tough zombie, huh? Not so tough now, huh? Let's just have a quick peek outside. Right, looks like they're mostly going to be hanging out down there. That works out well for us. We'll smash these remains. Damn it, come on. Okay, we've got a brainless one over here. A few others. Zombie dog. Okay, we just need to take them outside just so that they stop making noise. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to deal with more of them first. We nip, yeah see, we are nipping them. We nip at the tough zombie, so that's us using our bite. Let's make sure we have, we're not hauling. We've got a devourer heading on over now as well. Hmm, okay. Uh, of course you're here. Alright, man, one, two, three, we very quickly take out the Devourer. Alright, take down this lot. We just need to move everything away from that door, just so that we can get things closed. Close it on up. Right, okay, no chance to take a breather yet. Um, I want to have a look. Okay, we still have Exertion, so we probably don't want to cast again. Effect started 21 minutes ago. So it increases fatigue gain. Right, so we we might be able to get away with it. Man, our intelligence is one right now. Luna is just pure instinct. Uh, which is interesting that we can still cast magic. Yeah. All of our magic, our mana, everything like that, it is tied to our intelligence, so we're less effective. But I think it's impressive that Luna can still cast spells, even though, like, she has barely any higher function going on right now. Um, still, we're going to use our senses. We're going to try and see if we can sniff out anything that is magical. Uh, and I really want to just be left alone here. But it seems like we're going to have to earn that piece. And I'm fine. I'm fine to earn it. I'm fine to earn it. I just want them to leave us alone, you know? Let's go ahead and start shifting things. Hearing more footsteps. And they will come back eventually. For sure they will. But for now, let's just see if we can take that moment to catch our breath. <laughs> and one actually made it in here. Okay, so they got that door completely knocked down. Should have expected that was going to happen. Oh, and we got a screecher in here now. The whole family's here. As instinct takes over, Luna starts to slash at them, almost crudely holding onto the sword in her hand. One by one, they drop, and we do have more making their way in. Through that broken door, 
Well, I guess we're going to be smashing these bodies, aren't we? So, let's do it. We don't want them coming back. And there's a strong chance we're going to be here for a little while. So we'll clean up those that are here. I think there is an acidic zombie among the dead here somewhere. Tough zombie. Might be on that one there. So we'll just go like that. Yep, acid filled corpse. So we're just going to have to wait for acid to... To dissipate from that one there. Let's see. We good? Not yet. It's very hard to see with this. Ah, there we go. And our dark sight is gone. Still acid, huh? Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and see if we can move a body across instead. Uh, we are taking one from up here. Let's scroll down. Acidic zombie and all the rest. And we are going to just cut up that one. Dismember. We don't need to see to be able to do it. We're hearing footsteps, but we can't see anything. The footsteps are coming from upstairs right now. So, with a little bit more peace and quiet, which we can get by just dragging these bodies out here. I'll have a quick look and see whether or not any of them had any essences for us. It doesn't look like they do. Most of that stuff floats to the top, <laughs> um, for lack of a better word. Um, let's just make sure we're not hauling. There we go. Okay, so back into the space here. Okay, Becoming Jackson, big book of first aid. What do we have in here? An evening gown, wooden cloak, some combat boots. Okay, interesting clothing but uh nothing that we necessarily need i will be having a look beneath the televisions as well just to be sure that there's nothing hidden there because i've been told that things like that can happen so we'll be mindful of that um i think if there's a plus symbol there should be something there otherwise i don't think there i don't think there is um well that's these two cleared so well, i might as well check the bathroom huh just a toothbrush i imagine yeah Nothing hidden in the bathroom. Ah, something hidden in the bathtub, though. Oh, liquid soap. <laughs> ah, dear. Oh, we still got acid splattered there, huh? Yep. Right, okay, so. Let's check these rooms out. Anything stashed? No, just toilet paper. Okay. And pretty much the same deal with the bedrooms, but we do have something in here. Pittsford Lair Map. It's going to tell us where fantastical beasts dwell. I like it. I like it. We'll be sure to read that. Clear the rest of this, though. Okay. Uh, nothing jumping out at me there. The leather clothing. Probably good for us to take it apart eventually, but we won't worry about that right now. Skeleton key of opening. Holy crap. I nearly missed that. A small gold skeleton key. You can activate it to unlock things. It has a lock picking quality of 50. This is a magical skeleton key. Yes! <laughs> that is brilliant. I am so happy about that. Okay, so this should be under tools, right? Yep, let's go ahead and change this to E, just so we can go AE if we need to, to get anything. Oh boy. Scroll of Grotesque Enhancement. A spell that warps your body in alien ways to increase your physical abilities and strength. I don't think we are going to be able to do that. Let's see. Nope, we are not, unfortunately, but that's okay. We've still got some other things in here. Crystallized mana, no less. Sure, we'll take it. And checking out this room here, what do we have? Nothing. That's okay. We need to pick our route up, or alternatively, we could go down first. Yes, let's gather our nerves and head downstairs. We'll peek, first of all. We're looking okay. Ah, we are hearing something, though. Something down here. Footsteps. Okay, uh, how bad could it be? A clay golem. Okay. Hmm. Fragile. We can we can deal with fragile. Let's head on over towards here. Oh, yeah. Very, very good. Two strikes. <laughs> and you're out. Just like that. We're going to go take that duct tape because it's infinitely useful. And we'll actually go and turn on our light down here carry on in our lupine form i know we might not 100 percent look like it but believe me we are we are a walking <laughs> a walking wolf we can't talk um so yeah i guess that's one thing it's like some of these spells are verbal we must be managing somehow we do not want to dive into the water no siree we're just going to carry on into the cupboard here it's a magical cupboard of course we're going to take the crystallized mana the barbed stinger an eight-inch barbed stinger. 
mediocre weapon or could be made into a trophy of some sort. We'll go ahead and take the Stinger too, and of course the Mana Potion. Yes, please. Up here we have a Magical Reading Light, which I don't know how valuable that's going to be. I know we have one. Okay, it does say that's worth quite a bit. And some stone shells. Oh, Albear Egg. Okay, repair using Druidic Staff. Hmm. With luck, it may still contain some of its former power. I like the sound of that, so we'll go with that. Okay, Wizard Laundry. What do we have in Wizard Laundry? Okay, um, looks like regular clothes for the most part. Yep, all regular clothes. And then up here, we have something in the safe. And we have something behind the TV too. What? Oh, damn. Yeah, no, we definitely need to be looking behind TVs. Scroll of Decaying Bone Club. This is a necromancy spell. We can't use it, but we can still sell it because that's still still valuable. Um, yeah, very nice. Who was back here then? They keep the necromancers in the basement. Uh, right, crack the safe. I mean, I don't think we can use... Oh, uh, that's our wounds closing up. I was like, holy crap, what was that? It's It would have been like killed or something uh let's see this is this is oh boy this has taken a while that's at five percent yikes yeah maybe we'll come back to the safe that'll be something that we come back to we got to go through the rest of the place first um looks like this is the kitchen okay ideally we'll find something to drink down here oh and there is quite a bit to drink it would seem um cool we got some cheese grape drink Let's go ahead and knock that back. Ignore the smashes. We don't need to worry about that. Yeah, we want to try and go until we get slaked, if possible. Let's see. There we go. Slaked. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. And what actually do we have here? Condiments. A few other sealed bits and pieces. Nothing crazy good. So we'll leave all of that. And we're going to be heading back upstairs. Our light illuminating the space. Let's go take a peek. Okay. One plastic. Uh, and our ears ring out as something large was destroyed. A few good slashes with this. And we take it out. Good. Oh, what in the hell? What the hell? <laughs> why? Why? So that's why we're getting deafened. Uh, all of... Out here is on fire for some reason. I, that was not us. It was not us this time. But we need to keep that in mind, and it very well could spread to this building. So let's be cautious. Let's be quick. Um, yikes. Okay, so checking in here, we're just going to have a look, see that there's nothing hidden. Check out the bedrooms next, of course. Okay. Parable and wool breeches. Okay, so we've got the wool breeches, um, or at least we did. We're not actually wearing anything at the moment, so let's go ahead and chuck those on because uh, it'll be worthwhile. Yeah, chuck them on. Um, we do want to make sure that we don't get too hefty on the legs. No, no, we're fine, and and the temperature's fine as well. Yeah, we're lightly furred right now, but that's not forever. Uh, we are going to take both of those, thank you, and over here, nothing, I believe. Here are cufflinks, just regular, regular cufflinks. And we can hear things dying out there. Oh, a robe. A robe. What, what kind of robe? Oh, it's a Jedi cloak again. Okay, we, we could actually wear the Jedi cloak. We're not really wearing much else. Um, it would kind of mess up the, the backpack and stuff like that. Just layers, I, I'm pretty sure. Um, we don't really feel like we need to be wearing anything else right now anyway, so... I think we're fine there. Hey, we got ourselves a scroll. Uh, a few here. Uh, a wizarding guide to backpacking. So, Ingus Fatus summons a ghostly foxfire worked from living marsh vapor to lead your enemies astray. With more experience, this spell can conjure multiple ghost lights. Interesting. I think this is probably Necromancer as well, if I had to take a guess. Uh, mind over pain with intense ritual that resembles CrossFit, <laughs> you managed to put some of your pain at bay, I see. Uh, and then Wizarding Guide to Backpacking. This appears to be the spell version of a guide for what things to take when backpacking. It's a little bulky, but will certainly prove useful. What? Oh, it's got the different spells. Jar of Force, Aura of Protection, Pain Split, Finger Firelighter. Huh. 
Think a fire lighter. I mean, I guess that just means we can start fires. We're gonna take, we're gonna take everything, of course. Um, but yeah, it's a spell book. I didn't realize that. Okay. Uh, so I think we're probably gonna be going straight up from here. Um, actually, in saying that, there is an area that we haven't been up to though. I, I'm pretty sure if we head down here, there is a yeah another set of stairs here and here. Oh hi, neglected to say hello to you. How did you set the pool on fire? It's a pool, guys. Come on. Yep, our ears are going to be ringing. Yes, they are. Okay, uh, heading up to here. Right. Yes, I'm glad that we did this. So, what do we have here? We have the Oricalcum cauldron, some human bones, and a funnel. Down here. We have Fox's Cunning and some more stone shells. And yet another safe we could potentially crack. So, in here, Crystallized Mana, um, Mega Blast, which we can learn. You've always wanted to fire energy beams, like in the animes you watched as a kid. Now you can. Is this just Kamehameha? I feel like this is just Kamehameha. Um, nice. I will take that. Broadsword token and a pike token. So, these are just tokens that can turn into those weapons. Also, web, web, web design basics. Because uh, every wizard needs to know how to use HTML. Um, okay. Right, well... Do I want to take it with us? No. No, I don't. Um, we'll leave the other ones. The scroll of crystallized mana will take just so that we can sell it on and i think we will probably try and crack that open in just a moment we'll see what else we have over here nothing burned i mean there's a stick actually you know what yeah no let's burn um and comically we are going to burn nothing burned um because you know sometimes you just gotta do these things nothing burned we're gonna go ahead and put it in the fire <laughs> there we go uh let's go and wield our crowbar which i hope that we still have we do fantastic we are going to drop the saber for now which means that we're getting a little bit tight on capacity that's fine wield put that back in and we will grab the saber okay grab those grab those make sure that we actually did grab everything nice and we'll pop on over to the other side I, I would like to get into the safes. I would. Um, ideally, we'll be able to do that. Whether I don't think we can use the skeleton key on them, but who knows. Uh, and just a straight up gun safe. Wizard guns. Wizard guns. Ast uh, oh, the gastrolith of an Albi. We have one of those at home. History of Alchemy. Are you worth much? Not really. We're going to take the crystal though. Still worth it. And let's see. Yellow potion. Okay, I don't know if we know what it does. Uh-huh, I see. We'll take it. More crystallized mana. Obfuscate body. A magical aura distorts light around your body, making it easier to dodge enemy attacks. Brilliant. That does sound like a lunar spell. We will take it. Hearing more smashes. It's making everything seem so much more urgent here now, huh? Okay, we're going to grab the crowbar yet again. Dropping the saber. Smashing that. Let's go ahead and wield that saber. And we're going to grab the crystallized mana. 93 from that. Hot damn. Yeah, see, we did not grab everything. Uh, can I grab 85? I can. Why did we not grab 85 before? <laughs> Weird. Over here, friendly human fashion. Or humane fashion. Human fashion. God damn it. Oh dear. So this is how to use fake fur. Um, yeah, sure. Sure. Could still be useful to us. Uh, all right, we're going to be heading back down, remembering, of course, that those safes are here. Um, I mean, this is like proper stone that shouldn't burn, but the doors out the front here can burn, so we need to be wary <laughs> of that spreading fire. Ah, oh, boy. Upstairs we go, Luna. Um, high above the flames. Okay. And this is when we start to run into the classrooms where we can definitely still find interesting things like liquid mercury, uh, human bones, and silver. Okay, we're probably not going to take the human bones. We will take the Daenerys and uh, the rest of the mercury, the gold there as well. Um, History of Alchemy, we're not going to take. The other book we will leave behind as well. Eel ring. Ah, so we had the bicephalus eel ring. This is a thin silver band ring depicting an eel coiled on itself. It allows you to dodge an extra attack per turn. Uh, so it's effectively the same thing. Maybe ours is slightly better. Um, we can't wear rings right now, though, unfortunately. Uh, I do find it interesting that on the teacher's table, they have this ring, they have a meat cleaver, and a heavy-duty tow cable. I feel like all of these things were to demonstrate the power of the ring. <laughs> 
just in some clever fashion. Um, do we want to have a butcher's cleaver for butchering? Could be worthwhile. Uh, I don't even know if we need it. I don't know if we need it. Yeah, we're going to leave it. We are going to leave it. Scroll of Bleed, we can't use it, unfortunately, but we will most certainly take it. And with that, we're going to be heading on up. Next floor, another classroom. What do we have here, Luna? Lesser Mana Potion. And over here, uh, Garnet and Silver Bracelet. Can we wear it now? This bracelet, we cannot because it's another hand thing, I think. Oh no, I lie, we totally can. Okay, and this is the Enchanter's workbench that we're looking at. All of it, as it seems. Modern Rifleman, and over here, uh, just some murder mystery stuff on the table. A crowbar, <laughs> some human bones, and some more coins, okay. Up we go again. This is the staff room, by the looks of things. And I can't imagine there's much hidden in this space. It doesn't look like there is. Okay, we'll just double, double, double check. No, we're good. So much noise from below. Okay, and some noise from in here, as uh, we have plastic golems. Now, we could just fight them through the glass, but I'm confident enough in our wolfly form, with our blade in hand, that we can uh, take them out just like so. And we've got a lot of things to look at here. So I think the easiest thing for us to do would be to use the advanced inventory, but I kind of want to read descriptions as well. Uh, scroll of Eagle Sight. We do have the book that already has it in it, so that's literally just so that we can get some extra um, money from selling that on. Um, nothing there, nothing there. To master the unknown. Um, we've already had that from elsewhere, I believe, because it's purple, so we've, we've already read it. But uh, we... Yeah, it brings up our arcana to 10. Okay. Sure, we'll hold on to it. We will hold on to it. Metal dies. Mm. We don't need them. <laughs> as cool as they are, we will leave them be. Nothing here. Anything can be beautiful. I'm sure it can. A coming of age novel. Sweet for your sweet child. Okay. Is this recipes in here? Maybe. Uh, let's see. Deck of sorcery cards, nothing on that one. Computer world, and yeah, okay. All right, not too, <laughs> I say not too much, and then we've got a freaking wand here. Uh, this is a minor wand of magic missile, so still useful. Uh, however, we look to be at capacity. Okay, so we're gonna have to keep that in mind. I'm gonna have to take some things out, um, but I will go ahead and just hold this just so that it is going to be visible to us and I will check these desks. I'm glad we did. I'm glad we did. Tip flask with whiskey, some character sheets. There was definitely some D&D going on in this wizard's tower. And another wand. Still, still useful, still valuable. Um, let's go ahead and move that onto this square here. And we're going to just haul that on out. Um, we're going to have to let go for a second just so we can move it past the... Uh, golem. Okay, done. Surely we can't miss that on the way down. Okay, up in here. We're not at the top floor yet either. Okay. Ow! You hurt us. You bastard. Okay, looking in this space here. Uh, Cat's Grace. Cold. Okay, we've got a few stone shells here. Um, Burlet Pearls. Monstrous Fang. Okay. Um, and those are the bullet plates. They, they weigh a lot. 30 kgs each. So it's going to be 60 kgs for just a little bit more. Prized for use in shield and armor making. We, we do have some of them. But um, I don't think we can afford to carry that back. Well, I say that. I say that. We might be able to. Um, the stone shells we'll grab for now as well. We might not be able to make as much use of them. So I'm going to think about that one. Magitek Illustrated. I feel like we want to pick it up just so that we can sell it. Ah, damn. Of course, of course, we are really at that limit. Monstrous Fang, a long curved spike of unnatural ivory that feels lighter in hand than it should be. Looks like it can be made into a trophy. Okay, um, let's just drop the cavalry saber for now. Um, we're just gonna have to start picking and choosing. Well, that or alternatively, we find a way to carry things out of here. And there are ways for us to do that. We will cross that bridge when it comes to it. Uh, ideally, we do want to take everything. So let's just have a look at doing a little bit of this. 
dragging them over here. And we're pretty much going to be doing the same thing up here as well, the bullet plate. Um, the gastrolith, I'm not that interested in, but that we want to go ahead and drag to over here. I think it's still worth us having the cavalry saber, <laughs> because we don't know what's out there. We really, really do not. Um, let's stop dragging those things around. Okay, alright, we've got two, and we're still not at the top yet. We've got a magical circle of some kind. But I'm really not that worried about the plastic golems anymore. No siree. Magic circle, we got the orrery up towards the tippity top, Luna. And that is the top of the tower. Okay. <laughs> we are a ways up here. And I think because of that reason, we are so high up, we're going to be able to see very far. I say that. Hmm. But I forget that this is nighttime. And so, in actual fact, we cannot see that far. Which makes me actually want to try and see if we can stay here until day. There is a problem with that though, if we do and things go bad, then they will go very badly. If the whole tower burns, <laughs> then we're just going to have to get out, we're going to lose our SWAT armor, among other things. So what we need to try and do now, is figure out how we can gather up all these things here, and get them back home. Uh, yeah, do we want to go back home from here? I mean, I feel like... I feel like it would be worth it. Um, there is the magic shop up here in Landif, which I definitely want to check out, and we will be doing that eventually, but um, we're going to have to make a journey back out here. I've, I feel like we need to go back home, we need to kind of reevaluate all the spells that we have access to, and um, look if, if we can start doing some infusion. As soon as we have the mana infusion bracelets, that's going to really open up mana and magical crafting for us in general. So, let's get all these things down the bottom, for the time being. Hearing all those wonderful noises. The thumps are a little bit more concerning. Okay, we are at the bottom now. Stopping there for a moment. I wonder whether or not we'll be able to make it back to the SWAT armor without too much trouble. Or rather, if it will be easier for us to just try and drag this stuff to the SWAT armor. Tough zombie has been spotted already. Okay take it out so we need to go ahead and turn off our torch we're going to extinguish that we're actually going to drop it for just a second here and we are going to try and cast dark sight again it's going to take us a few turns for us to be able to do this we're not that great at casting it let's keep on trying luna one of these will stick um yeah 87 percent chance of failure <laughs> we are not great at this spell okay there we go we got it to stick okay we can see Excellent. So, what I want to do... Alright, okay. We're going to have to deal with you first. Uh, let's go grab that saber back. And we're just going to have to slash, slash, slash away. We'll start dragging things along. Ignore the shuffling. Pay attention to the shuffling. <laughs> Drag these things out of the doorway. We're just going to have to take out a few of our foes along the way. That's okay. And I'm just clearing the path here so that we can actually do some proper uh, falling. Okay. There we go. And just like so, we're going to keep on keeping on making our way uh, pretty much straight south from here. I think most of the dead will have gone towards the noise. If they haven't, then, uh, well, I suppose we'll say hello and we'll do what we need to do. But for now, yeah. Just dragging these things along. No problems there. I would have liked to have stayed up the tower until morning. But, um, yeah, that's a, that's a lot more extra effort that right now we don't need to do. And uh, I'm not as worried about us taking a whole heap of damage right this second. Just because uh, in our werewolf form, we seem to recover health really, really quickly. Uh, how much time do we have left on the werewolf? Uh, a long time. A long time it would seem yes we have indeed spotted a boomer i'm more concerned with the zombie hulk and that shocker okay the boomer we're gonna have to uh, throw a hidden boom okay stop moving items yes the zombie hulk is now a problem um right so we've stopped hauling items are we gonna try and go toe to toe with the zombie hulk is that smart for us to do it's not smart but I feel like a challenge. How encumbered are we right now? Not very. Our torso is looking okay. You know, it could be could be worse. 
so sure. Luna readies herself. And I don't know if it's Luna so much as the wolf is kind of compelling this. As this zombie hulk walks towards us. Oh, it takes a powerful swing, but we dodge to the side. We manage to stun it with our blow as we slash at the zombie hulk. Slash after slash, cutting into it. We slice off a hand as it strikes again, missing us. Again and again, we slash. It brings down a mighty blow. We hold up the cavalry saber and it rings out in the night as it impacts. Okay, we've got some more theoretical skill with unarmed combat. And just like that, we kill the Hulk. We weren't struck once. Wolf Luna, you are... (laughs) You are something. A monster. A good monster. (laughs) My kind of monster. Uh, Okay, we'll ignore that shuffling. It's fine. It's coming from inside the store. I really, really don't care about it. I would rather not be reminded every second. That's fine. Okay, we can't see as far now because of our dark sight, but we've kind of got away. So I feel like we should be relatively in the clear. There we go. Our wounds just start closing up. Our torso is healed. Those cufflinks are wild. For any kind of melee or martial class, uh, it's like, yeah, I, I could I could not see how you wouldn't want to do this. Okay, we got a glutton. Um, how bad is this explosion going to be? We are going to stop, most certainly. Start slashing at it. Okay, big explosion there. Not that bad, though. It turned out okay. I'm going to keep on carrying everything down here. As any potential wounds we have just seal up completely. And back in here... We have our SWAT armor, among other things. So, what we need to do is sleep here. We need to rest. Uh, We need to try and wait until we are no longer a wolf so that we can put back on the SWAT armor and have a look at carrying all this stuff back home. But, Legionnaires, that is going to be in the next. Thank you for joining me for another episode with Luna. We're right back where we started, but we got a whole heap of goodies. That magical tower uh, is good. Magical academy, good. There is still some stuff there as well. So, I mean, there isn't that much. I'm going to go ahead and mark it as explored. There are still safes there, so I will at least make a note of that and say, safes locked. Just so that we know, going back over there, that there are still some there. I think actually in the original Magical Academy, there might be some safes that we haven't unlocked. That's why it's really important to use, um, wow, I spelled that real good. Um, (laughs) It's really important to use notes because, you know, a month from when you had looted that place, you will have forgotten, 100%, especially if you're doing multiple playthroughs of Cataclysm. Ah, yes. Well, for now, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you've enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time. <laughs>